In 1970, our young boy, now a young man, decides to come to Auburn. There he would not have to be the first because Mr. Harold Franklin had integrated the university in 1964 and James Owens had integrated the football team in 1969. It was challenging. The support systems that had been in place in his community and in his high school had not yet been idealized at Auburn. They didn't exist yet. I looked up the word integration in the dictionary and there were two definitions. The process of opening a group, community, place, or organization to all, regardless of race, ethnicity, religious, gender, or social class. And the second one is becoming an, expected, an accepted member of a group or community. Today, the young boy stands before you a man. If you ask me to describe integration in 1970 through 1974 through my eyes, I go back to the two definitions. We, Auburn, we got it right on the first definition. We opened it up, the process of opening a group, community, place, or organization to all, regardless of race, ethnicity, religion, gender, or social class. We needed to work on the second definition, becoming an accepted member of a group or community. Now, I'm not here to give you a sad story because obviously there was magic that occurred during that period of time. For me, Auburn has been a major part of my life for 43 years. And last week I was in Birmingham and the Birmingham Auburn Club gave me a great award and I'll tell you what was so special about it is that a dozen of my teammates showed up and it was just absolutely wonderful. And for the first time afterwards, uh, several of us hung around and had drinks and they might not have realized it, I did. It was the first time we had ever hung out together in 43 years. 